Welcome to my channel guys. Are you looking to improve your single stroke roll in 2021? Or looking to just improve your overall drumming? Well, you've come to the best place because I'm trying to improve myself as well. So hopefully stuff I practice, you'll practice. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you two drum exercises. They're single stroke exercises that will get your playing to the next level. Let's get into the video. If you like what you see so far, you can show your appreciation by liking the video, smashing that like button. Don't, don't play around with it. Go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you ring the bell so that every time I post, you're notified. Go ahead too and leave a comment. Let me know what you want us to work on um, to take us to the next level. The question then is, what is a single stroke row? I'll show you. That right there is a single stroke. A single stroke row is when you combine this together. That creates a single stroke row. Now there are about 40 essential rudiments that every drummer should be familiar with. To tell you the truth, I have three on my list that I think are the most important, but that's for another video. The important thing about practice or playing any exercise is to take it as slow as possible. Don't rush into it. Don't be like, oh, single stroke girl. Ah. No, take your time and play as slow as you can. Play as slow as you can. Try to get each stroke to sound similar. Um, like most people, my left hand is not the dominant hand. So my left hand is a little lazy compared to my right hand. So try to find exercises that will alternate your starting point. And also find exercises that will strengthen your left hand. And that's what this exercise is. And that's one of the things I really like about the exercise. Let me show you the exercise slowly and then I'll play the exercise with the metronome. Don't ever play any exercise, especially when you're a beginner drummer without the metronome. That's, that's not a good practice to start. Always, always play to a metronome. Start slow and play with a metronome, okay? In this exercise, now, I'm not too focused about technique. A lot of people have different techniques in playing. Um, some people like to play with this type style. Some people like to play in here. There are other people that have this kind of grip that they like to play with. So let's get into the exercise. The exercise is pretty, pretty simple. It's really, really simple exercise. Here, here it is. You play a single stroke four times on the right hand, and then you play 16 notes three times. On the fourth time, instead of playing a 16 note, you play one note, and then you repeat the whole thing with the left hand. So with the left hand, you play four notes, four strokes, okay? Followed by 16 notes, three 16 notes, you started with the left hand. On the fourth one, you stop, and the whole thing repeats. Let me show you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It sounds simple, doesn't it? Imagine playing that as fast as you can, okay? That's just the first exercise, okay? So let me play it again. One, two, three, four. One, E, and a, two, uh, uh. One, two, three, four. Hopefully you're playing this already with a very good uh, technique. If not, leave it in a comment. Perhaps that's something we can talk about technique, uh, different techniques or what's a good technique or perhaps what technique I'm using in the next video. That's a lot of techniques. All right, so let's play this exercise one more time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay. The second exercise is just the same thing, just longer. And the reason for this is I'm trying to get my endurance up. Okay. So if I play just one, two, three, four, that is, is not long enough. Okay. So what I did was instead of doing just four, I'm doing eight now. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay, that's what I'm doing. But in in that exercise as well, you want to alternate because you want to get your left hand to be as strong as your right hand. All right. Let's play this to the metronome in three different tempos. Three, Let's start with 100 beats one, per minute. Two, three, four, one, two, okay. three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And don't start playing right away when you turn up the when you turn on the metronome when you start in the practice. Don't just start playing right away. Try to internalize what you're hearing in the metronome before you start playing. Okay, so. Okay, now let's let's play the second exercise. I hope you're playing along with me. Let's play the second exercise. Okay, now I'm gonna bump the metronome up to about 110 and then play the exercise the same way. I'm gonna play each exercise two times, okay? One, two, three, four. Remember one, to internalize two, three, four. One, two, three, that tempo, four, that beat, one, two, three, before you start four, playing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Here we go. Four. Now I'm gonna bump that metronome up to about 130, okay? We're gonna play at 130. So when I first got this exercise, the first thing I did was I try to play it. I, first I learned how to play it, and then I, I played it as fast as I could, and, and then I figured out where my threshold was, where my breaking point was, okay? And then what I did, I went back down and then I started climbing up slowly, trying to create a muscle memory. Now we do understand that your muscle itself doesn't necessarily have a memory, but when you do something over and over, your brain can kind of remember how to do it. That's where the whole muscle memory thing comes from. So I went all the way up, discovered where my breaking point was, and then I went down and then started to go back up. So it with increment steps of me playing this, my muscle or my brain will start remembering how it feels like in the hand. So that way when I'm playing on the drum set, it comes naturally. I don't have to like overthink it. Does that make sense? So try to do the same thing. Start low, find out your breaking point, and then go back low and then build all the way up. All right? So now we are at 131. All right, 131, let's give this a go. Ooh, one, internalize that's a little four, faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, Here we go. Four. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's the exercise I'm using right now to better my playing. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment. What do you what do you want us to work on next or exercise that perhaps you think is awesome? And I'll try to cover it. I will try to cover that exercise in one of my videos. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, 
go ahead and practice, 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 and get better and get better and get better, I guess. What else are you gonna do, right? Um, keep practicing, keep getting better, keep enjoying what you're playing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.